Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So um, today I'm just gonna show you some stuff that I did in the kitchen. I'm not actually gonna show you me doing it because I was in a zone this morning and I um, forgot to turn the camera on. So anyway, so yesterday I went next door because my neighbor has this beautiful pawpaw tree and it was just loaded with green pawpaws. So I picked them and this morning I have spent the whole entire morning peeling them, de-seeding them and then grating it. So now I'll turn you around and I will show you what I've done. This all this here is 21 bags of braided green pawpaw um, and in each bag is round about uh, three cups worth of worth of pawpaw and I've got some for dinner tonight and what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze all of those ones and um, pull them out when we need them so for, the green pawpaw freezes really nicely and then I'm going to pull them out and um, use them for green pawpaw salad. So while we've got an abundance of green pawpaws, I thought I'd grate them all up and get them all ready. And then we can have green pawpaw salad whenever we like. Oh, and one other thing, while I'm still in the kitchen, forgot to mention with the green pawpaw, I have made it into a sauerkraut. So I just use the same recipe as what I would if I was doing a cabbage sauerkraut. Um, I just used grated green pawpaw with the salt. So we'll leave that sit and ferment and then we should have a really nice um, pawpaw sauerkraut. And also while I'm in the kitchen, I'm gonna use the thermo mix and I'm going to get all of my dried eggshells that I have sitting outside. I'm gonna blitz them in the thermo mix and turn it into a powder. So it's a nice calcium powder. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that all over the garden. So hopefully that, um, I don't know, it might deter the grasshoppers a bit, but the grasshoppers at the moment are just munching on absolutely everything. Um, what I might do is take you for a little walk outside and show you what we've got happening out there. So I didn't get to finish filming this the other day, so I'm out here today finishing up. I said I'd take you for a walk around the garden and show you a few things. Um, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the yard at the moment because it has been slightly rejected. Um, and and the grasshoppers oh my goodness i everything is just getting eaten by the grasshoppers but my moringa's cruising nicely so i have i have some lemons cruising along on the lemon tree which is great and over there is a lemonade but i'm pretty impressed with i've got bananas a couple of bunches of bananas that are happening um my turmeric and my ginger are still booming. This is the stuff that I didn't actually dig out over um, when it all died back and it's just come back up again. And over there you can see there is a ton of turmeric as well. So I should be, should be pretty right for turmeric. My fig, it is cruising. I have, you can see in there, I've got baby figs coming on. The grasshoppers, as you can see, are loving all the different leaves and all the nice stuff in this garden. I've had quite a bit of asparagus that I've managed to harvest from the garden. I've got a ton of tomatoes and other leafy greens, amaranth, and um, borage is coming through as well in this in this patch. That's kind of all just. Um, accidental stuff I guess you could call it my cucamelons they're looking pretty tatty and terrible but once again that's the grasshoppers um, Jerusalem artichokes so they're they are cruising along it's such a beautiful flower it's so nice I like it I like it a lot um, so I've got that and my ground apple over here is coming through and now this is a Mexican horn melon, I think it is. I think that's what it was called. Um, so that's cruising along and I'm starting to get some, some um, flowers and, and produce that'll, that'll come through there. So that'll be great. 
all my really nice kale that I had in here has been munched by the um, by the grasshoppers but I trimmed it all back and as you can see I'm starting to get some new growth coming through so so that's pretty good but the grasshoppers are just they're just really really bad at the moment I have a red banana over here which I only planted probably about a month ago and it's doubled in size so I'm pretty happy there my neighbor she has got some awesome bunches of bananas on her um, on her bananas and I'm ex actually extremely jealous because she doesn't do anything and she gets a brilliant bunch as well as you can see over there let's see if I can zoom in over there is where I got all my green pawpaws thank you neighbor I've got some good pawpaws happening on mine as well now in the aquaponics system we have chilies mainly the chilies the sunshine chilies are starting to come through and the purple chilies are starting to turn red so pretty impressed with all of that okay guys oh and the worm farm Matt how's the worm farm going pretty good it's going well yeah worm farm's yeah. going well all right guys See you later. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye.